Hello and welcome back to Learning English Pro. In today's lesson, we will be exploring the subject of Victorian inventions. The Victorian age was full of inventive and creative people who brought us many of the gadgets and things we use in our daily lives. As usual, make sure to check out the word list in the description below, which covers the entire glossary of today's lesson. And if you are looking for more English vocabulary on the Victorian era, check out my lesson on Queen Victoria and the British Empire. It is linked on screen and in the description below, along with some links for some other history vocabulary lessons. So let's get started with our lesson. And our first Victorian invention is the photographic camera. We all have cameras in today's modern world, but the very first photograph taken was done so by a man named Joseph Nisifor Nips. Nips took this photograph called View from the Window at La Grasse. It is the earliest surviving photograph of a real world scene. Before Nips' invention, photographs were taken using a camera obscura. This is a darkened room with a small hole or lens at one side through which an image is projected onto a wall or table opposite the hole. Niebs died in 1833 and his partner Louis Daguerre continued his work. And in 1838 he created the daguerreotype. Along with a new practical photographic process he revolutionised modern photography. It's time to move on to our next Victorian invention. The sewing machine. Throughout human history, all sewing and stitching was done by hand with a needle and thread. But that all changed when Bartholomew Thimignet invented the sewing machine in 1830 and had his patent issued to him. The word patent means an exclusive right granted for an invention, which is a product or a process that provides in general a new way of doing something or offers a new technical solution to a problem. Timonier's patent and design was improved upon by Isaac Maris Singer. He founded I Am Singer and Company in 1851. This company is still in existence today and it's known as the Singer Corporation. Our next Victorian invention is one we can all be very grateful for, the flushing toilet. In Victorian London, there were huge outbreaks of cholera in the 1830s and 40s, which led to tens of thousands of people dying. With Britain building new waste management systems, George Jennings designed a flushing toilet to flush waste into the newly constructed sewers. However, the flushing toilet was not popular until Sir Thomas Crapper improved the method of flushing. It's worth noting that from Thomas Crapper's name, we get the word crap, which is a synonym of the word poo and generally means something of poor quality or something that's not very good. There are also lots of interesting synonyms of the word toilet. First up, we have water closet. This is actually a Victorian term and their toilets looked quite like furniture, which explains why it was called a closet. And this is why sometimes it's referred to as a WC. Lavatory is another synonym of toilet. In British English, it is often referred to as the loo or as the privy. The slang for the toilet in my homeland of Ireland is bog. And in American English, it is often referred to as the john. In general, it can be referred to as the throne. Okay, let's move on to something a bit more proper with our next invention, which is the electric light bulb. For the history of the electric light bulb, we need to go back to 1802, where Humphrey Davy was the first person to make an electric current flow through a wire, making the wire first hot and then giving out light. But it wasn't until the 1870s when American inventor Thomas Edison created an incandescent light bulb. The word incandescent means emitting light as a result of being heated. Thomas Edison was granted his patent in 1880 and he went on to establish the company Edison Electric Light Company. Our next Victorian invention is one we are all attached to most of the day, the telephone. The first successful transmission of a clear voice via a telephone was achieved by Alexander Graham Bell in 1876. 
Another really important Victorian invention was the bicycle. The very first bicycle invented was the penny farthing in the 1880s. And the man credited with making important contributions towards the development of the bicycle is Eugenie Mayer. He received a French patent for wire wheels in 1968. And he is now believed to be the person primarily responsible for making the penny farthing feasible and widely known. If this is the first time you're visiting my channel, Learning English Pro, you're very welcome. My name is Jer and I'm narrating your lesson today. Make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all my latest lessons. Getting back to our lesson and we're on Victorian invention number seven, the car. The very first true motor car was brought about by a man called Carl Benz, who owned a company called Benz and C. In 1886, they received the patent for their Benz patent motor wagon. The Benz company went on to become part of Mercedes Benz, of course. Let's take a look at some car synonyms. We have automobile, motor, we could also say motor car. You could simply say auto. And some people call their car their wheels. Another slang word is wagon. A car might also be referred to as a truck or as a ride. An older car may be called a clunker. And a car which is not very efficient may be called a gas guzzler. Next up, we have a music lover's delight. Our eighth Victorian invention is the gramophone. It was Emil Berliner who patented this new type of sound recorder. He received the patent in 1887. This new device recorded sound to flat glass records, etching grooves into the record as it recorded. An arm with a needle could then run across the grooves and transmit sound vibrations to a speaker. The record player was born. Let's move on to our next Victorian invention, which is cinematography. In 1889, Woodsworth Donisthorpe developed and patented a moving picture camera, which used moving film. Two other men are credited with the birth of cinematography, Louis Le Prince and William Kennedy Dixon. Le Prince invented the single lens camera in 1888 and Kennedy Dixon invented the Kintograph camera in 1891. Our final Victorian invention is one that has had a massive impact on human health and medicine, the X-ray. The person who discovered X-ray was Wilhelm Rodgen. In 1895, he found a form of electromagnetic radiation with just the right wavelength to travel through soft material but be blocked by denser materials. The first X-ray image was of his wife's hand. It showed the bones, the flesh of her fingers and her wedding ring. Within three months of his discovery, DIY X-ray kits were available and Victorians were X-raying just about everything to see what it looked like on the inside. And that brings us to the end of our English lesson on Victorian inventions. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know how you got on in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're looking for more English lessons, there's really no better place on YouTube than my channel, Learning English Pro. It's jam-packed full of interesting vocabulary, grammar and writing lessons on lots of different subjects. So head over there right now and get exploring. On screen are some video suggestions just for you, along with the link to subscribe to my channel. So hit that to stay updated on all my latest English lessons. That just leaves me to say I hope you have a fantastic day and remember, keep learning English like a pro.